All right, so I got done recording quite a long video and I decided to ax it because I don't like uploading vi videos that are over 10 minutes long. So with that said, I just want to show where, I, where I'm at in the build. So as you can tell, I got quite quite a bit done with uh, basically the uh, chest and torso area. I got the ponytail made, I got the hair attached and whatnot. The ponytail itself was relatively uh, intricate to put together. Not too difficult, but just enough to wear as a pain in the butt. These little uh, hair piece, this little hair piece in the middle, the I guess you would call them uh, twin tails. They're going to go by relatively fast because they're very simple to build. I'm already in the process of building the arms. I'm going to be building the arms later today when I wake up. I have basically got the preform pre pre uh, pieces set up. I got everything else printed out. That's the uh, left arm right here, or the right arm. I don't know which, but yeah, I'm working on the arms tomorrow. I also went and made it so the uh, so these two parts here can actually connect. Now, normally when I build these things, I actually integrate this thing into the torso into the torso, and then I build the chest area around it. For some reason or another with this with Congo, I didn't do that. I have no idea why I did why I did it that way, but it was a stupid move. Because I do all sorts of crap to get this thing to to, pro to actually properly sit. You can see this nice little gob at the very bottom right here. And you can also notice I had to cut into here because I needed a place to stick the hawk loop gun and just just pull a freaking gob of it of it into the into this area so this thing can actually hold itself properly as I uh, properly align it. So of course after about like an hour or so messing around this thing I properly got it aligned and I was able to properly reinforce it. That way now so I can actually properly attach these two parts without any problems. There's still a little bit more reinforcements I gotta do but relatively speaking the uh, two part the uh, top and the bottom part of Congo sits perfectly so let me go and uh put them together. Now of course the uh, joining area is very ugly looking that's because it's going to be covered up by a skirt later on but relatively speaking I can hold on to her and it holds relatively fine. I'm going to, have to add some type of locking system that way so the uh, that way so her torso doesn't uh, shift around and whatnot because I can just easily shift it around. Well to an extent there is a locking back here but it's, but it's too uh, minute to actually act like a proper locking system like it has on my life size Freya. So there's a little bit more with my life size Congo to uh, properly get her up and running. And the autofocus on this phone is hot freaking trash. Thank God I can go out, thank God I can go manual when I want. And yeah, I mean like I was trying to say, uh, there's still quite a bit of stuff I gotta do. But once I uh, get the skirt made, this area won't look so nasty and grimy. Or, well, it doesn't look grimy, it just looks pretty crappy. But so far, when I'm, when I'm actually balancing her on my legs, it seems like she actually balances out relatively fine. The one thing I was worried about was, due to how much wood went to the head to properly reinforce everything, the top portion of her, she's very top-heavy. So the fact that she balances out relatively fine... It really impresses. It really does impress me, especially considering, like I showed in previous videos, the amount of reinforcements that are in the legs is is minute compared to like my life size Freya, my life size Min Min, which are out in my, which are in my closet, and the off focus needs to be turned back on. The uh, the uh, reinforcements on those are is a lot more significant than the reinforcements in uh, Congo here. And if you're wondering about the tank here, I have it uh, covered up so my turtle can sleep while I'm building because my sleep schedule is screwed up yet again. But uh, yeah, this is a relatively simple video to show how far I've come along with Congo. And she's getting really close to being fairly finished. It should I should be able to easily finish off the arms today.